Hi, my name is Dave Heller, and I'm a principal at Voluble Insights. In this short video, I'll provide an overview of the online media landscape. We'll cover what data is out there, the pros and cons of analyzing different data sources, and some guidance on how to decide where to focus your efforts. Consumers today leave breadcrumbs everywhere they go online, and increasingly, this evidence is accessible if you know where to look. We'll cover some of the most common sources of consumer data in this video, but there are likely other potential sources of data depending on the nature of your case. As such, it's almost always a good idea to consider whether online media could be helpful for your case if consumer belief, opinion, or action is at all relevant. If people talk about it, it's probably available online. A natural starting point for most studies of online media is the major social networks, which offer vast repositories of contemporaneous consumer commentary. In many cases, the most compelling and relevant consumer data is present on these platforms. However, the accessibility varies by platform, with sites like Reddit and Twitter offering relatively open access to data, at least as of the filming of this video, and others such as TikTok and Snapchat offering virtually none. The usefulness and accessibility of each platform must be assessed on a case-by-case -case basis and will be driven by factors such as data accessibility and needs, the consumer population being studied, the nature of the topic, and the time period of interest. Another important source of data comes from Google. Data from Google Search and Google Analytics can offer unique insights into how consumers act online. Google Search data is best accessed through Google Trends, which is a valuable resource for measuring the relative volume of a search term over time and comparing it to other terms. It provides insight into topics by tracking their prominence and listing other topics they are related to. Google Analytics is another tool that can offer insight into consumer behavior online. It is a private data source that offers comprehensive information about web traffic and user behavior on a website. It makes it possible to analyze metrics such as page views, click-through rates, bounce rates, and conversions, each of which offer a unique perspective on consumer behavior. Data from Google Analytics must be accessed through discovery requests because it is not publicly available. Consumer reviews can be a source of valuable commentary. Unlike most other consumer comments online, reviews are directly linked to a specific product or brand. This built-in context means it's easy to make inferences that might otherwise be challenging without explicit mention of the product or brand at issue. They are particularly useful for identifying consumer confusion, as consumers may leave reviews on the wrong product or make other references that expose their confusion. There is also a wealth of data available online from traditional media, such as TV, radio, and news which are often published online alongside their more traditional channels. Alternative media, such as podcasts and blogs, can be similarly useful. These sources are most relevant when attempting to demonstrate the spread or reach of a message, as there is often publicly available data that speaks to this. Although searchable databases exist for many of these sources, they are fragmented, and the data can be disorganized and challenging to work with. To drive focus in your analysis, our team can help make sure it's tailored to the specific questions at hand. There's a lot of data out there, so managing scope is key. For instance, if you're trying to understand consumer beliefs, you need to identify the platforms or channels where these beliefs are shared. This can vary depending on who is doing the posting, because different groups may frequent different sites. If you're assessing the spread of information, you'll likely want to start by exploring the primary sources and go from there. Next steps might include searching through secondary sources to trace the propagation of the information through various channels. If you're assessing product overlap or confusion, you might consider starting with consumer comments and reviews, which are easily accessible places that consumers talk about products. Alternatively, you might turn to Google to understand how consumers research these products. The point here is that each case is different and you'll have to tailor your approach to the specifics of the issues at hand. In closing, if you know where to look, there is a lot of data available that offers insight into consumer behavior, action, and belief. It's almost always worth considering an analysis of this type of data if any of these issues are central to your case. If you do have a case where you think online media might be useful, please reach out to us. Our team would be happy to review the details and provide an initial assessment of what type of analysis would be possible free of charge.